Ross and Barry. Got you with the back at you. I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Rodney McLeod. Report for duty, Rodney. It's a good day when you could get a player like Rodney McLeod back. I mean, we all knew he was... I, I, I knew he was coming back, but... Rodney McLeod solidifies the secondary again. The secondary is now about to be a bunch of bona fide tackling machines. Listen, man, you get Crevion LeBlanc. You get Avante Maddox. You bring back Jalen Mills because he could tackle. Rasul Douglas. I think Darby's gone. I think Corey Graham is gone. Of course, the captain, the general, Malcolm Jenkins, stays. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. Compile that with our draft picks. Compile it with the things we already got. Compile it with the things we already got. Everything's good. Everything's good. Look, man. At the end of the day, the championship pieces that were missing from us repeating are still on the roster. They just need to get they just need to get well. Rodney McLeod was a big part of that championship run last year, man. The fact that we bring Rodney McLeod back makes me feel really good, man. A ball hawk, not afraid to tackle. You saw him body slam cooks. You saw a lot from Rodney McLeod, man. Very underrated. Him and Malcolm Jenkins was one of the best uh, safety duos in the game, in the business. A lot of things swinging in our, in our favor. A lot of things swinging in our favor. I mean, I think we're going to win a division next season. But one main thing that makes me feel like we're going to win a division is just simply, simply Dallas putting their coach on blast like that. Listen, man, Jason Garrett, I think Jason Garrett is going to get fired midseason. A lot of people saying, oh, that's the Cowboys problem. What they got to do with us, Lil Brunson? They got everything to do with us. Everything to do with us. Everything to do with us. I'll tell you why. With Jason Garrett playing very nervous, knowing he didn't get extended, I think he's going to make a lot of mistakes. I think he's going to overthink this whole coaching process. Listen, man, it's hard to do your job when you know you don't got security. When you know you could be, you know you could get the boot for a, for, for a three-game losing streak. It's hard to do your job to the best of your ability. When the players could just turn, if Zeke say, I don't want him, he gone. He's gone. He's gone. They'll never, they'll, they'll never take the coach over Zeke. That's not the system they got there. If Zeke say that he, not, I'm not getting the ball enough. Zeke got to get the ball. Dude got at least dude got to get to the Super Bowl, man. I think he gone if they get to the NFC. If they get to the conference game, he gone. But this video ain't about that, man. This video is about the Philadelphia Eagles looking and seeing what we were missing defensively this past season. Now, we're a couple days away from the Super Bowl. It's Friday, uh, Super Bowl weekend. They're, they're, they're getting it together now. They're getting it together now. You bring that advisor in for uh, Jim Schwartz, something that I really didn't agree with. But I, I, had to, oh, I had to think about it, though. Everybody needs somebody. You can tell them, like, no, dog, you're doing too much. You're moving too fast. Everybody needs somebody like that. Everybody needs somebody who can tell them, like, you know, you shouldn't play that, that sticks defense on fourth down. Everybody needs somebody in the air who got their best interests in mind. Frank Wright didn't have that problem. Frank Wright had so much success when he was with us that he was able to do what he want when he wanted, as Jim Schwartz was able to. You couldn't question Jim Schwartz last season because he just won the Super Bowl. Just be patient. It's going to take care of itself. That was, that was the impression I was getting from Jim Schwartz every time he took the podium. But now, now, Jim Schwartz got some young guys to pay attention towards the end of the season. Jim Schwartz started getting it together. If somebody would have questioned a little bit of Jim Schwartz's moves in the beginning of the season, I think it would have been a smoother ride. I think we would have won a division. And you can't blame it all on Jim Schwartz. But who's going to be the eight for Mike Grill? I think Doug is going to take that over. If you ask me, I think Doug started calling the plays at the latter, latter part of the season. The world may never know. We in good shape, man. Don't ever let nobody tell you we're not in good shape. Everything is panning out the way that it's supposed to be. You know, the season is, is, is forming. The season is coming together. The players that's supposed to be there are going to be there. The players that's not supposed to be there are not going to be there. We got about, what, eight or nine draft picks? We got so many things that need to be answered, but those questions will be answered. Those questions are being answered. Those questions are being answered. We see the direction the team is going, and it's defense first. It's defense first. Carson Wentz got something to prove. Jim Schwartz got something to prove. The defense got something to prove. Everybody injured who's coming back got something to prove that they can remain healthy. Now, I saw McLeod's, um, a little bit about McLeod's uh, contract 
and then he's gonna get like three million, another million if he finished all 16 games. You think he ain't hungry for that? You think he's not hungry for that? Missed the whole season of a title defense. I think Rodney McLeod is gonna be a pro bowler next year. I believe he's gonna bounce back, comeback player of the year type stuff. He's gonna be a pro bowler. I think Carson Wentz is gonna be back to MVP form. Listen, when you give these guys a full training camp, the sky's the limit for an NFL player. When they get to play with their guys and they get a full training camp, the sky's the limit. Now, you know, I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm very excited to go to the draft this year. I'm excited to, 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 to go to be with my team every step of the way. You know, I plan on going to the draft. I plan on, um, I plan on going to the draft. I also plan on going to the training camps. I plan on doing everything that I think is necessary so I can get the best report for you guys, so I can get the best from, from a fan's perspective, so I can get everything I need to get to report to you guys accurately about what I feel about what I think is going to happen with the Eagles this season. So at the end of the day, if you don't agree with the Roddy McLeod, uh, if, if Roddy McLeod coming back, I think you're crazy. There's no way you can agree with Rodney McLeod coming back. Rodney McLeod was a staple in the defense. Um, There's a couple people who I don't believe should come back. I think Rodney McLeod should come back. I think Michael Bennett should come back. Um, Haloti Nada, he could go. Uh, who else should come back? Um, I, I kind of think George Hicks should come back. I, I, a lot of people should come back because the way we play football towards the end of the season is the way we should always play football. The way we should always play football. You know, the sky's the limit for moves like this. They believe in guys, man. I say even give Ronald Darby a one-year uh, prove-it deal. I say give Darby a prove-it deal, but you never know how these things going to go, how these things going to mature out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody deserve a prove-it deal, man. It's getting dark out here. I didn't know the summer go down that quick. But, yo, let me know what you guys think about us bringing our guy back, man. The guy is back. I'm about to get in a warm car. We about to keep it pushing. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. I'm tired of saying I'm the best.